And happy hump day to all of you across the desert southwest. It is Wednesday. We are right smack dab in the middle of our work week. It's a beautiful day out there. 90 degrees currently in Yuma and in El Centro and across much of the area. Let's take a look and see what it looks like on the RV world of Yuma Skycam. A very busy 4th Avenue South right here. We have haze off into the distance when you're looking out to the mountains. A slight breeze as well. We don't have those gusty winds. We're in the uh, single digits right now as far as our wind speed is concerned and uh, cloudy skies and that will continue as we get into tonight. Let's take a look at our satellite and radar I'll show you what we have in the area. This was from about uh, 145 this afternoon. The clouds started to move in from the East Pacific and they're uh, making their way over us right now. Heavy cloud cover, but it's not going to produce any rain. I do not think it's just going to block out the sun as we get through the day into the evening tonight. Here's the upper level low uh, pressure system that we had. Remember a couple days ago, it was over here and we had the, the rain and, and we had a lot of those storms. It's now moved over to the east and in the southeast portion of the United States along that eastern coast too uh, and in providing them with uh, some rain as we had over here. We didn't, didn't see much here. We had our lightning and our thunder. Uh, we didn't have much rain. A look at our uh, future wind slide. Again, uh, very light until we get into tomorrow. Some gusty winds throughout Imperial County, anywhere between 10 and 20 miles per hour at times. But for the most part, in Yuma County, going to be very light. A look at our air quality index brought to us by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. Uh, still very good through the valley. Mexicali still holding at a moderate reading. Temperatures throughout the area look like this. Here's where we currently stand in Imperial County on the California side of things. Ocotillo at 88, Salton City are at 87, Calipatria 91, and across the county and state line into Arizona, Yuma County, and the Gila Valley. 90 in Yuma, along with San Luis, Summerton, and the Foothills. Welton also checking in at 90 degrees. Our viewer photo of the day today comes from Heidi Kirkman. She took this photo yesterday of the Colorado River fire. Uh, we really could smell it and even feel it in our eyes at times. Last night it was so intense, at least here in the television station. I'm sure that you felt it in your homes and around the area as well. Thank you, Heidi, for sending that in. If you have a photo, we certainly want to see it. You can just scan this QR code with your phone. It's just like you're taking a photo with it. It'll take you right to the weather photo gallery. From there, on your phone, you can uh, upload your photo, include your name, a little description as well. You can also find me on social media or drop it off on our homepage, kyma.com slash share. Real quickly, a look at your metro cast. Uh, we'll be uh, overcast skies tonight. The sun will go down about 617 tonight. We'll be at 89 degrees around 7 o'clock. Cloudy conditions remain at midnight. We'll be at 79. And when you get up tomorrow morning for work or school, whatever it is, 73 Partly cloudy skies at 7 a.m. Your seven day forecast looks like this. A mild day tomorrow, a lot of cloud cover until we get into the weekend. Saturday, those clouds will clear out. Gusty conditions on Monday and Tuesday. Look at next Wednesday, 76. You kidding me? Our weekend, mid 80s? Come on, that's awesome. Same can be said for the Imperial Valley. A breezy day, heavy cloud cover until Saturday. Then those mid 90s are around. Winds pick up Monday and Tuesday. But again, we're going to be in the mid 70s on Tuesday and Wednesday.